I'm Pam with Memories Organized, and tonight we're at my monthly workshop sorting through our printed traditional photos. While I realize that today, most of us take photos on our phones and then put them on the computer, but for the most part, if you're like me, you came from a family that took lots and lots of photos. And when I inherited mine, they were in boxes and drawers all over the place. So the first step in getting those photos organized is to gather them together. And the second step is to designate a place to put those photos. Maybe it's a room like your dining room where you can leave them out and take 30 minutes or so at a time and organize those photographs. It's very helpful too. Number three would be have a goal in mind, maybe a deadline. Maybe you've got a child that's about to graduate from high school and that gives you a sense of urgency to get those photographs organized and a timeline to work from or a milestone birthday. And then the fourth thing I recommend is that you set a timer through the organizing process so that you'll only take maybe 30 minutes a day and not be too overwhelmed at any one time and put on a CD maybe while you're sorting to help that time go by faster. The thing that I recommend that you put them in is called the power sort box. And I've got one here full of my childhood photographs. As I was sorting through these photographs, each compartment in here can hold up to 200 photographs. And what I love about it is as I'm sorting, those photos aren't gonna flop around or um, you know, as I'm sorting in these different compartments. And then they've got these awesome dividers that I can use a pencil on and erase when I'm done and reuse later. But I can then specify whether it's a, a decade, a year, a person, an event, a pet, or whatever photos I find that need to be sorted. The, the last thing I want to mention to you and my favorite part about this whole process is that once I have them in this box, the lid's going to clip on so I'm not going to lose that organization. So if you need help organizing your photos, you can either come to one of my workshops or call me and I'll be happy to come to your home and help you personally sort through them.